From head to toe, you can cover yourself with wearable technology these days. Watches to pump you up, headsets to put you in a different reality, all designed to help you let loose. Now these shoes are essentially supposed to replicate different kinds of terrain, gravel, snow, rock, even a swamp with creatures that can bite your feet in it. It's a lot of fun to wear. I'm not sure I would want to walk down the high street wearing these, but that's not the purpose. It's all about putting you inside an immersive virtual experience. Power laces, all right. And while we're talking shoes, if you grew up on Back to the Future in the 1980s, your future is now. You can tighten and loosen these with a phone app, the ultimate labor-saving device. Push the button and then it's going up and down. So let's say for lazy people who don't want to make any efforts to tight the, the, the laces, this is a perfect solution. And just when you think you've seen it all, anti-radiation skimpy briefs with a special fabric to protect your crown jewels. Surely only a French company could invent something like this. Why does the world need anti-radiation underwear? <laughs> well, there are more and more studies coming out saying that men who keep phones in their pockets experience a strong decrease in fertility. So um, the Cleveland Clinic, for instance, issued a study saying that for men keeping their phones for more than four hours per day in their pockets, uh, they experience a 50% reduction in sperm count, which is huge. Wearable tech isn't just for us humans. Piper's collar can determine his mood. Like the majority of dog owners, uh, uh, finally I want to know if my dog is happy. The jury is still out on wearables. Motorola has halted plans for a smartwatch. And yet some forecasts suggest there will be hundreds of millions of these devices on the market in the next few years. And if you've had enough of all this wearable tech, then there's really nothing like a massage. This chair will give you a 3D body scan to iron out all the kinks. Ooh, that's very nice. So you can just sit back and relax. Owen Fairclough, CGTN, Las Vegas.